He likes those titties. Size of them. They're nice, isn't it? Good. Hello, this is Sophie Dawson from sophiedawson.com, and this is another click look video where we clearly look at various art books and stuff. I think Mon Monty's going to have his nose out today. Little Monty the Mouse. But today we're going to be looking at two little magazine book things called Fantasy Art by Imagine Publishing. And well, I've had these for a while now and I've been wanting to do them. But look at the size of the second one especially. It's massive that second one is. Huge. But this first one's big as well. So we're going to go through these today and also these have also got little DVDs. So what I'll do is at the end I'll put the DVD on the computer and we'll have a look in there as well. But before we get into it, it is Christmas month and today is the 8th of December. So it's time for our little advent calendar. What do you think is behind this one? I think it is a... what do I think? I think it's a bell. Ooh, little presents. You like presents? Hey, you've got a little cowlet. And you've got a little, little soldier. <laughs> He's quite fun, isn't he? Little soldier. So little Monty's going to help us with this one. And we'll start with the first one. Look at the cover for the second one as well. I love that. Looks cool. But this one's like all fantasy. I like the colours on that. Really nice colours, I think. And then on the back, we've got lots of cool stuff here. Look at this one here, look. I think that's my favourite. I like that as well. That one. But they look really nice, they do. So in here we've got inspirational tutorials, artist interviews, in-depth features and fantasy galleries. It's all about the fantasy, this one. The little Monty the Mouse lets us in. This was made in 2010, this was. Ten years ago. It's quite, quite amazing, that. But, yeah, I like that one a lot. It's a very cool looking character. I especially love the hair. The way the hair flows around with her. It's looking very sexy, this magazine. I can't wait for this one here. Really looking forward to that. Look, we've got, we got two different... Oh, this is cool. We've got characters, concept, and then environments. That's quite cool. So, and for each one we get features, gallery, tutorials, and little, little interviews as well. This is going to be quite, quite cool, I think. The first one here, the rules of fantasy art. The rules of fantasy art. Going through the... Oh, this is like all... This is a bit like, um, well, to me, it's a bit like sort of Final Fantasy. It's like futuristic fantasy stuff. Oh, this is quite cool, look. Perfect composition, essential tools. Oh, this is quite cool. Creating an atmosphere. Learn more. What's this here? Throughout the... Throughout this feature, we have gleaned some amazing advice from top artists. Oh, it's got a little website on there. You can get some more. Oh, look at this, look. How beautiful are these? I love her. Yeah, that's kind of like Gravity Rush. Like the world. I love that. I love this as well. She's beautiful. All done. Look, you've got a little artist as well. This one's called the Wind Tower. This one's called a Touch of Gold. <laughs> it's a, oh, look at this, look. Little squirrel. I love that. That line's nice as well. Oh, this is beautiful. I like the way they've set it out as well. Cool. Fantasy character look. We're going to get to see that character being created. Silhouettes sketching over. 
references. This is also on the disc as well. Oh nice, they're going to go through the whole thing, look. The whole process of it. Oh nice, little lips look. Oh, I've always loved drawing lips. Lips and eyes are my two favourites. Flipping it. Oh, is it on a, oh yes. He <laughs> paint like anime. Yeah, I love this. Look at a little sketch as well. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, it's on the disc as well. Oh, but it's in painter. I ain't got painter. I love that. I really like that as well. Cool. Anime versus manga. That'd be quite interesting. Facial features. Look at that one, look. <laughs> it's quite funny. I like him. He's a bit like Kirby. From uh, Super Mario and stuff. Look at that, a little dragon. Oh. Little birdie. I love that. That dragon's like hidden. It's like it's hidden in the world. Master steampunk styles. That's cool. I like that. It's kind of like, again, futuristic y fantasy stuff. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I think, I think these would be good for podcast episodes. Going through the. Oh, look. Interview with Nicole, Nico, Nicoletta Ciccoli. Nico, I've seen this artist before, I'm sure of it. They're like a bit sort of fishies, look. Look at the way they've done that, look. The fish's eye is where her eye would be. These are a bit sort of creepy cute, I would call them. Yeah, a little bit sort of. Oh, look at this one here, look. <laughs> I love that. Little mice, look. Little cats or... I don't know if they're cats or mice. I think they're little kittens. On the moon. I'm going to look into this artist. She's cool. Improve your portraits. Some beautiful art in here. Again, going through the whole process of it. Like that. Perfect skin tones. It's a bit haunting. Like little tips for eyelashes and stuff. Yeah, it's talking about keeping it all random instead of don't have it all like the same. That's what um, Jake Parker said. He said, um, "What's it called? Consistent, consistent variety or something." I, lo I love the way he said that. Consistent variety. In other words, you keep doing it, but you got to do it differently. I thought it's brilliant. Mixed media montage. That's good, it's not just um, digital stuff. It's also got some nice, create a dynamic action scene. I like that. That's pretty cool, I think. I like the way all the stuff in the background is all completely just blurry. But you can tell what it is, I love that. You can tell it's like fighters. Even though it's just like random shapes and stuff. <laughs> look at that, look. She was aggressive at the start. Don't be afraid to exaggerate the pose. Yeah. Push it to the limit and then you can always bring it back. That reminds me of Thundercats, that. Sword of Omens. Portrait painting. Beautiful colours. That's cool. I 
love the way they've set these little, <laughs> creating a classic zombie. Yeah, I love the way they've set these articles out. Very easy to follow. Colouring advice. Colours alter depending on the environment they're in. For example, people tend to think of paper as white. But if you look at it in an office, it may look yellow. While at night, it'll look more blue. That's interesting. That's like water. What colour is water? Water is the colour of the thing underneath it. So it's like water really hasn't got a colour. As long as it's clean water. Sort of reminds me of that. Photoshop. Look at that. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> that is really weird, that. I don't think he'd be happy like that. Might be though. Like that. Waiting for blizzards. Oh, that's cool. Fantasy card cover. Yeah, I like that. I like the feeling of it. Complete guide to concept art. Little sketches. Oh, this is going to be brilliant, reading it. Monkey! Hey, Fred Gambino, he was in, that's it. That was in the um, latest issue I did on the video of Imagine FX. Fred Gambino, I like Fred Gambino. Secrets of Success. Oh, brilliant. Look. Yeah, this is going to be... Um, this will be a future podcast episode, I can tell. Secrets of Success. Paul Cartwright talks us through how he created the concept for this ape rider using eight point brief as a guide. Oh, that's going to be cool. Space designs. Little spaceships. I've started watching Star Trek. What's it called? Star Trek. What's it called? Dimensions or something? The, the one on um, Netflix. It's brilliant. Really good. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Lots of speed. Motion. Oh, I love that. So I think I like that better. Nice and simple. Massive Black Studio. I've heard of them before. <laughs> it's quite funny, that. Good character. Nice. Hey, look, Iron Man. Interview. Yeah. Creating a conceptual design. I wonder what that is. That's quite cool, that. It's like a, look, it's like a robot city or something. It's almost like they're coming out of a robot. It's quite weird. It's a very cool imagination going on. Concept creatures. We love creatures. That's kind of like um, a bit sort of, well, I would say spiritual. See, I wouldn't be afraid of that. I think if you stayed still, it would, it would it's pretending, I think, to be scary. He'd actually be your friend. He's testing you. See if you want to, see if you're scared or not. I wouldn't like to live in a world like that. I prefer trees. I like that. I'd, I'd like to live in a world like that. Mm, I don't think I'd like to live there either. Imagine how noisy that place would be. Map painting techniques. 
I've heard about this before. I think this is where you take photographs and turn them into, what do you call it? Like something different. A piece of artwork. Look how old that computer looks there. It's got one of those, those old monitors. That's cool. Create an alien concept scene. Little aliens. Cool. Very in depth. Look at the um, effect of that. That's cool. It really looks like it's sort of like what it does. Like it's all sort of yeah, heat haze. That's a cool effect. Scott Robinson. Look, look at this look. The idea is that you are the camera and are flying along at the same speed as the jets in the boat so they stay in focus while the background whizzes by. Cool. You are you are the camera. <laughs> it's quite funny. Yeah, I don't know if I'd like to live on a, in floating cities and stuff. I want I want the world to go back to being all nature. Oh look at this. Give him that. These are cool little, cool little creatures here. <laughs> Look, they're making a skull out of the sand. Oh, I love that one. Who's that one by? I wonder. Luis Diaz. Luis Luis Diaz. Liquid ink brushes. I like that one. Create your own globe. I don't really know what they're doing with that one. Gary Tongue. God, look at that look. That's brilliant. I love that. I love the shapes of that. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. I love that. It makes me feel nice. They're sort of sweeping lines, I suppose, and the colours. Oh, I like this artist, Gary Tung. Hey, I've seen that before, that book. Hmm, interesting. Might have to get that now, I think. I like, I like that artist. Improve your map paintings. <laughs> look at that, look. That's mad that is. It's a bit like Half-Life these things. These big sort of walk-in things that were in Half-Life. God, there's loads of stuff. Love this one. Oh, I would have taken that man out, I think. If you look a bit like that, that man ruins it a little bit. I love that. It's very... See, that's the place I'd like to live. Yeah, without the man. <laughs> Just me. Not wouldn't have the man there. Look, oh, this, 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 these articles are brilliant. I can tell. Signs of life. See, it says sometimes it can be important to make a scene look well. Signs of life. I think they should have hinted. They should have hinted at um, a person living there without having the person living there. Diane Cole. Look at that look. Imagine if our skyline looked like that. With planets. I love that. Must be amazing to fantasy landscapes look. Nice. I like how different everything is in this one. You've got a lot of mix between characters, environments, yeah, spaceships, and there's a lot of mix between images and just in articles and interviews. It's quite cool. Let's go and have a look at the DVD and see what's on that.
I've just realised, imagine publishing, they don't make the Imagine FX magazines. What it is, is they actually make a video game magazine I used to buy. Back in 2010, I used to buy this magazine called Games TM. And they make that. But, well, look at this, look. This is quite weird. So you've got different little... Oh, hey, you got a little podcast link there. I wonder what that does. Oh, cool. Look, you've got podcasts. Might be, I'm going to look into those. You can quit. Look at the podcast. You've got a website. For, you've got lots of different websites for this thing. But we've got tutorial files. I love that image. We've got tutorial files, wallpapers, speed painting and reference images. Let's go to the reference images first. Reference images, 158 pages. View the assets. Ah, oh, so you've got like a bunch of... I'm going to see if I can get them to be... What's going on here? <laughs> View as... There, let's do this look. This will be better, I think. So it's just a bunch of environment. That's a nice one. Environment. What are they called? That's nice. Environment reference images. What else have we got? Buildings. Quite interesting, I suppose, if you was in... See, I'm not really into them, but here we go, creatures. Yeah, you've got little... Hey, look at that, look. Cool. Hey, jellyfishies. What's that there, look? Little, little statue, is it? That's quite cool. Yeah, not the best photos in the world, I would say. But at least they've got a wide range of things. Oh, these are nice. Little flowers. Mushrooms. Are these mushrooms? Look, they're made of bread. I wonder what they are. Oh, these are nice ones. I like the flowers. Skies. We like skies. Pies and skies. We like pies and we like skies. That's a nice one. God, imagine seeing that. Yeah, I don't think I would ever use these. Never say never, I suppose. Oh, these are nice. Different textures. Yeah, I'm going to keep these because I'm creating a collection of textures from the Imagine FX magazines. Look at these, look. I like these. I like textures. Oh, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, I like that. Nature creates the best shapes, I think. Look at that, look. Oh, I like that. I like the, I like the flowers and the textures. The best. What have we got here? Speed painting and wallpapers. Let's go to the wallpapers. Oh, I don't like it when they put everything in folders because it makes it. I like this one. Look here, we can really see the how the background is completely just nothing but random shapes, but you can sort of. You can tell what's good. I love that. I love the way they've done the background on that. I love it. I really like that. Even the clouds and that. It's all just basic, simple things. What cool character as well. Again, I don't think I'd ever use it. Well, I've still got like my standard wallpaper on the computer. I don't really play around with wallpapers. See, you have to keep going into all the folders to find everything. If I was doing, a, if I did a magazine like this, a DVD, I'd, I'd have, I'd have everything in one folder, make it more user friendly for the, for the viewer. Ah, oh, glad we got this one. I love this one. <laughs> look, look at these little things. How fun are they? Look at them over there. Look. I love that these are making a skull as well. Something quite. Yeah, I like those. Hey, look, there's a little purple one. It's a bit weird. Wonder why that. He's got armbands on. Wonder if he's dead. There's one upside down there. <laughs> Funny. One in a little quad bike. One out exploring. 
wonder if there's any hidden in the background. Like a little tiny one. I love that. I love that image. We got speed paintings. Let's have a look at this. View the website. What's this? We have gathered three fantastic speed paintings for you. Those artists have been kind of supported. So there's a website you can find them on. iDrawGirls.com. I've been on that website before. Da, da, da. Cool. Look, oh, these are the things. I'm looking forward to that one. Drawing Emma Frost. Some music, baby. Hello, welcome oh, to iDrawGirls.com. Nice. You've got talking as well. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to draw another comic book character, a uh, female comic book character. Cool, uh, I'm going to watch this. This one is going to be Emma Frost, but I'm just going to do like a... Let's speed it up a bit. So, uh, no, that's it. Well, can just go ahead and sort of light start. over here. And the note sometimes is, um, the reason I shadow it dark, because sometimes it has this kind of a, a darker tone on the note. See, these are the sort of videos I wish Imagine FX did. So far, I've been, I've been doing 2010 and 20. This image is beautiful. All the videos yes. from Imagine FX on 2010 and 2011 so far have all been. They've, most of them haven't had audio. How beautiful is this image? I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, I love have that. What's this one here? Environments. Hello, welcome to iDrawDress.com. Uh, this one is going to be a tutorial about um, sort of like an environmental painting. Uh, speed painting. Yeah, I'm still going to watch this. And I'm using blue. Um, overlay would be the easiest. Uh, See how much information you get when they're actually talking. I'm not going to put the whole thing on though because it's... You have to get it yourself. <laughs> you have to buy it yourself if you want to. Watch it. Hello, it welcome to iDrawGirls.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to draw uh, a lady um, in a Victorian costume. So nice. that will make your painting look good. So it's not. Just I like that. Oh, I love this one. It's got a little cat on it. Nice. That was fun. I was expecting no audio on those tutorial files, look. How beautiful is, is she? God, blimey, look at all this, look. <laughs> Loads of stuff. Brushes and... Let's have a look. Oh, I forgot to open up Photoshop. It's going to take ages. My computer's so slow, it takes ages. Oh, we've got the anime one, look. We didn't get any... Yes, we got the sketch, my favourite thing, sketches. I'm so happy with that. One is a JPEG, one is a bitmap. I think the J the um, bitmap would be better quality. I think I don't know. So happy we got this. Hurt. I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, I'm gonna keep it. Tree, tree dragon, forest pictures. There's lots of stuff on this DVD. It's quite cool. What's this here? <laughs> I want to go back to the thing. This one, what's this one here? Look. Oh, this is that cool little creature thing. That's a dragon. I wonder if it's got. Oh, cool. This is why I love it when you get the Photoshop file. You can. Right, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to keep everything but that. <laughs> oh, look. That's a little dragon. Cool. I like doing stuff like that. Playing around with the files. There's, there's way... Oh, I've lost the thing now. There's way too many folders to go through. Steampunk. Eyes. Oh, this would be good. Oh, we haven't got the. We haven't got the Photoshop file. The skin tones. There's loads of stuff on here. Creature. What's the creature one? I wonder. Original sketch. We got another sketch. Oh, that's that one. I like that. 
He's like friendly to me. Yeah, I like that. Cool, we got the little sketch of it. What else have we got in here? Treehouse matte ink. I wonder what this one is. Oh yes! I love that. We got the this is probably my favourite image in this magazine, I think. And we've got the sketch of it. Yeah, look at my bear, look. See, that purple one wasn't in this sketch. I wonder why they put that purple one in. All the other ones were, look. Yes, that purple one was added later. Hey, look, there's one in the little... I'm sure he wasn't in there. In the little treehouse. Oh, I love that. That's, that's probably my favourite thing, I think. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there, but there's loads of other stuff in here. What else is there? Brushes. <laughs> Steampunk. We've already done that one, I think. Zombie. What's the zombie? Hey, that's that one. Yeah, it's a bit stupid, I think, that they put it all in folders. It makes it very cumbersome. This looks a little bit like a... Oh, I was going to say, from from there, it looks a bit like a sort of snake or something. A futuristic snake. So that's basically that. I hope you enjoyed that. I thought it was brilliant. Really, really liked that. I'm actually really excited for the next one now as well. But yeah, this next one. Well, see, this one's almost, I would say, twice the size of this one. That's going to be fun, that. But I love this. I really hope you enjoyed it and... And basically see you see you next week for the for the next one. That's quite cool, isn't it?